go whoop and whoop and pull the bones out. 45 minutes to do barbecue ribs with a jarred sauce. You got your own favorite sauce? Make your sauce from scratch, it's totally fine. Again, just remember that there's some liquid inside. You have about one cup of liquid to a two quart and that's gonna give you enough liquid to make steam, to make pressure, to get ribs just like that hands free. So one of the things that I like to do in a pressure cooker is do oxtails. How many of you know what oxtails oh, are? Yeah. And here's why, I'm is exactly <laughs> what she just did, right? Because what it does in a pressure cooker, it tenderizes those meats. That's right. So it, when you put something in there that, you know, like lamb and that sort of thing in a pressure cooker, it tenderizes it so nicely, it's like falls off the bone. That's right. We've got a two minute clock up. If you'd like to order our today's special, this is the final presentation, final airing. Get it at home, we give you 30 days. Whether it's soups or chilies, whether it's a delicious cake, um, whether or not it's your chicken wings or your ribs. Um, artichokes are delicious in a, in a pressure cooker. I don't know if you've ever done it, but artichokes can take a long yes. time to cook. You can put them in your, in your pressure cooker. I've done fruits like apples, pears. I mean, there's so many things that you can do in a pressure cooker. Um, this size, I think, makes it so user-friendly. If you've been oh, yeah. if you're afraid to use a pressure cooker, this is the perfect friendly pressure cooker size. Ooh, with Thanksgiving only a couple of months this away. This could be a sweet potato. This could be your regular like Yay. red potatoes. Here we've done, this is actually one of the recipes in the book, which is a smashed potato. It's pretty easy, but love. I love that I can do it right in the bowl. So I'm actually mashing. This is a non-stick bowl that you're getting. So your two quart bowl. Um, cleaning this is super simple. So once you're done, you could just take the bowl out, wipe the rest of it out as well. Um, your lid actually has your, um, your ring that goes up here and the ring pops right out. Okay. So it's super easy and then you're just the lid comes off completely if you want it to okay. or it'll hinge and so for we can you. just wash that wash it out just by, pop it yeah. right off and wash it right up you know you don't have to dishwasher it it literally is just easy just to rinse it right off and wipe it down again most of the stuff the the mess is going to be even